Hello, this is Steve Burgess from Hypnotherapy for All. Thank you for choosing this recording. I hope you enjoy listening to it and you find the visualizations, suggestions, or affirmations helpful in your quest to feel good. Now, before you play the recording, make sure you won't be disturbed for the next little while. Turn off your phone and find somewhere comfortable to sit or lay with your eyes closed. Obviously, do not play the recording whilst you're doing anything that requires concentration. For example, driving or operating machinery. If you have a history of psychiatric illness, before you listen, check with your doctor that it's okay for you to do so. Hypnosis is just a pleasant state of relaxation. So if you need to come back to full awareness or respond to anything happening around you before the recording is finished, simply count yourself up in your mind from 1 to 10 and open your eyes. So when you're ready, just sit or lay somewhere where you can be comfortable for the next little while. And to start with, I'm going to ask you just to fix your gaze on a spot or a point on the ceiling or the wall in front of you, where your eyes are sort of raised up a little bit. And I'd like you just to look very, very firmly at that spot on the wall or the ceiling. And as I'm counting from 10 down to one, with each number, just imagine your eyelids are feeling heavier and heavier. And it becomes harder and harder for you to try to keep your eyes open. And at some stage, you can notice that your eyelids want to close down. And when they want to close down, even though I may still be counting down, you can let them close. So now, number 10, just keep looking at a spot on the wall or the ceiling very firmly with your eyes. As we move down to number 9, just imagine your eyelids are becoming heavier and heavier. And down to 8, and if your eyelids begin to blink, just imagine you can feel them becoming heavier and droopier and drowsier and wearier. Down and down to seven. And just feeling the little tiny muscles in your eyelids letting go and giving out. Six. Just feeling little tiny muscles letting go. Five, just allowing your eyelids, if they start to close, either to let them stay closed, or just find that the harder you try to keep them open, the heavier your eyelids become now. Down and down to four, just letting your eyelids feel so tired, so heavy. All the way down to three, just feeling the little tiny muscles, the smallest external muscles in the body, feeling very tired at the effort of trying to keep gazing on that spot, that point on the wall. Two. And then all the way down to one. If your eyelids haven't yet closed, then just let them close down now. And become aware of a nice warm and welcoming darkness behind your closed eyelids. And then just begin the process of allowing your body to relax. Just imagine you can feel a wave of relaxation flowing down and down through the muscles of your body. Just imagine muscles in your forehead and face and jaw going loose and smooth and relaxed. 
and just rest your eyes. Feel your eyelids comfortably heavy and relaxed. And just let the relaxation move into the back of your neck and shoulders. Loosening the muscles in your neck and shoulders. Imagine a weight has been lifted off from your shoulders. And you can feel calmer now and more relaxed. Just let some relaxation move down your back, down your spine, to the lower part of your back. And just imagine relaxation moves down through your arms. From your shoulders, down through your elbows, down to your wrists. And just breathing relaxation down through your chest. Down into your stomach and... Just become aware of the gentle rhythm of your breathing for a few moments. And just let your mind rest on the rising and falling of your breath. And just allow each gentle breath that you take to help you to feel more and more relaxed now. That's right, You're just letting the relaxation move down now through your legs, from your hips, down through your knees and ankles, right the way down to the tips of your toes. And just become aware of your body feeling more comfortable. Letting go of general background sounds and noises. Perhaps even finding, as some people do, that whatever you hear from now on actually helps you to go deeper into relaxation now. And just feeling yourself perhaps with a sense of calmness, a sense of ease. If there's any tension anywhere in your body, just breathe into the tension. Imagine you're breathing it away. As though you're just breathing in relaxation. Breathing away tension. And whilst you're resting in this very pleasant way, I'm going to be giving you some suggestions and instructions because everybody knows that smoking can be bad for you. Now these suggestions and instructions are very powerful and very beneficial. Because you are becoming so deeply relaxed and Part of you is very motivated to become a non-smoker. Your inner mind becomes so receptive to all of the powerful and beneficial suggestions. They'll just sink so deeply into the subconscious part of your mind and will cause so deep and lasting an impression there that they begin to exercise now a greater and greater influence over the way you think, over the way you feel, and over the way you behave. So regardless of whether you're focusing on my voice or whether you let your mind drift off from time to time, these suggestions and instructions that I'm giving you for your own well-being can just be carried out automatically. And the 
reason you're having these suggestions and instructions to reprogram your subconscious mind is that you wish to become a non-smoker. And because you wish to become a non-smoker, I'll help and instruct you to become a non-smoker now. So as from this moment, I'd like you to begin to believe in yourself as a non-smoker. Some time ago, perhaps many years ago, you were a non-smoker and so once again now you can become a non-smoker. So as from this moment, I'd like you to think of yourself as a non-smoker. realize that throughout your years of smoking you've probably developed habits and formed routines. For example, you may have linked cigarettes with cups of tea or coffee or with eating or with relaxation or boredom. You may even have linked cigarettes with problems or pressures in your life or with a whole host of other things. But from this time onwards, you are a non-smoker. And all these habits, these subconscious habits that show themselves in this way, must immediately be erased from your mind. Those links must be broken. Those associations must be broken. Now, I don't know how you can do that now. But I do know that you can return back to the ways and the habits that you know all non-smokers have. Or that you know you would have had if you'd never begun smoking in the first place. Just imagine how good you'd be feeling inside yourself now. How healthy if you'd never begun smoking in the first place. So from this moment on, you are a non-smoker and you'll find that quite easily now you can act, think and behave like all non-smokers act, think and behave. And of course, because of this, you receive all the wonderful benefits that all non-smokers receive. As a non-smoker now, You have no desire or craving ever for cigarettes or nicotine. As a non-smoker now, you have no desire or craving ever for cigarettes or nicotine. You are a non-smoker now and you have no desire or craving ever for cigarettes or nicotine. Those old desires and cravings for cigarettes are a thing of the past because now you are a non-smoker and you have every right to feel all the wonderful benefits that all non-smokers receive. At all times, your stomach, your throat, your chest can feel now that they are healing. They are getting healthier and healthier with each day that passes as you are a non-smoker. Your stomach, your throat, your chest, they begin to heal. They are healing now. And you are getting healthier and healthier with each day that passes as a non-smoker. And you are getting healthier and healthier with each day that passes, as you are a non-smoker. And you can find that like all non-smokers, you require no substitutes for smoking in any way, because you are now smoke-free. 
But like all non-smokers, you require no substitutes for smoking in any way. You are now smoke-free. As you know, smoking is an unhealthy, antisocial, smelly, financially damaging habit. And when you look at it in those terms, no one in their right mind wants anything to substitute or take the place of a habit like that. As you are now smoke-free, you don't need to do anything instead of smoking. Your diet can stay the same. You'll not turn to sweets or chocolate or alcohol or anything else. In fact, it may be that if that side of your life needs improving too, you may find that with your newfound control as a non-smoker, you can take control of eating habits or other habits that no longer are appropriate to you so that you can just become healthier in so many ways now. Perhaps you can also notice a sense of freedom inside you right now as you think about yourself being smoke-free. As a non-smoker, you become healthier and happier. And you can be proud of what you've done, hour by hour, becoming very pleased and proud and content with your achievement. This is a fine achievement. You have every right to feel proud of yourself. You can be proud that you are a non-smoker and you become more proud with each smoke-free day that passes. You can also feel healthier, more alive, much more alive. And you become happier too, feeling happiness and contentment, knowing that you are one of the more sensible, more contented, healthier people. And of course, because you don't have that drain on your finances, you become happier, healthier, and wealthier. As a non-smoker, you have a wonderful ability to remain calm and relaxed at all times and in the very best of humor. As a non-smoker now, you have a wonderful ability to remain calm and relaxed at all times and in the very best of humor. People will notice how pleasant you are and in what a good humor you seem to be. Because you are smoke-free now. You just have a wonderful ability to remain calm and relaxed at all times and in the very best of humor. And as you continue relaxing for me, perhaps from time to time drifting even deeper into relaxation, I wonder if you can begin to thoroughly enjoy the complete feeling of freedom that you can get now that you are a non-smoker. You have a respect for yourself, for your body, for your health, and you are now free. You are now one of the vast majority of people, strong enough, intelligent enough to be a non-smoker. Feel proud, feel good about yourself. And from this time on that you do not smoke, you may not even be aware of the smell of other people's cigarettes. From this time on that you do not smoke, 
smoking will rarely, if ever, enter your mind. From this time on that you do not smoke, you suffer no withdrawal effects. The unpleasant effects that can sometimes accompany stopping smoking will be kept to an absolute minimum because you're using the power of your subconscious mind to help you to be a healthy non-smoker now. It will be easier now to be a non-smoker than you would have ever thought possible. And as your mastery over the habit increases, you become more and more proud of your self-control and determination. You are healthier. You feel good about yourself and the world. You enjoy life far more. You are more calm and relaxed. There is simply no reason for smoking. You now stop smoking. You never touch cigarettes again. Cigarettes disgust you. You are a non-smoker. And by quitting, you feel better mentally and physically. Cigarettes leave a bad taste in your mouth. You may even find now that if you ever have any thoughts related to smoking, they will rarely be in connection with yourself. You may even find that any thoughts about smoking are much the same as those you would have on any health-depriving drug like heroin or cocaine. Of course, you'd be determined never to take even one injection of heroin. Now you're going to be very determined never ever to smoke again because just one stinking cigarette could be enough to turn you into a nicotine addict again. And that can cost you a lot of money and give you bad health into the bargain. So you know that you want to be smoke-free. Be smoke-free for the rest of your life. So from now on, I'd like you to be healthy and happy and determined to always remain smoke free. And you can be more determined about this than you have ever been about anything in your life before. In the full knowledge that to be a non-smoker is a fantastic achievement and something that you're going to be very successful with now. Feel a sense of determination inside your body right now. Perhaps that sense of determination is centered in your chest or your stomach or your head or someplace else. But feel that determination. You can be determined now and confident that you remain smoke free. Confident that you are a non smoker now. Feel that determination and confidence. Confidence that you never really gained any real pleasure from smoking. The back of your mind was always the fear and the worry that it may damage your health, it can spoil your skin and your hair, it can make your clothes smell. These things will have been subconsciously going on every time you had a cigarette. But from now on, you are changed. And so because you're no longer subconsciously thinking of those things, you'll get a real sense of freedom because you are a non-smoker now. A determined non-smoker. A confident, happy, good-humoured, calm and relaxed non-smoker. So send yourself a message of congratulations and appreciation. Feel proud of who you are. I'm 
going to remain silent now for a few moments. I'm going to ask you to run a movie in your mind of how you'd like to be now that you are a non-smoker. In the movie, see yourself in a variety of situations, at home, at work, or out socially, completely smoke-free. Imagine that a miracle has occurred as a result of this hypnosis and that you are completely smoke-free and be aware of how good this feels. Please just run this movie now. Now, in a few moments, I'm going to be counting up to ten, and with each number, I ask you on the count of ten to come all the way back to full awareness as a happy and confident and determined non-smoker. And all of the suggestions and instructions I have given you, as far as possible, will automatically be carried out even though you may not remember them or you may have forgotten them after a short period of time. Even this does not matter. You can just feel confident now that everything I have said will automatically be carried out. And each time you play this recording, ideally every day for the next two or three weeks, you'll find that the suggestions and instructions go deeper into the subconscious and it continues to allow you to feel easier and easier about being a non-smoker. So now on the count of ten, come back to full awareness, looking forward to being smoke-free for the rest of your life. One, two, Gently up to three, just feel yourself slowly and gently coming back little by little to four. More and more alert to five. Slowly back to six. All the way back to seven. Perhaps just getting a sense of your body now. and You can move your body a little bit as you come back to seven, up to eight all the way to nine and when you're ready now ten take some nice slow deep breaths have a good stretch open your eyes and feel good now